G'day guys, welcome to me lab. Now in this episode we are finishing off our uh, mushroom power up or as it turned out to be in our little bogan tutorial, a 4x power up. So we're going to make it so that when we grab that beer bottle we're going to increase in size and in doing so we get a bit of a free hit. Um, if we run into something we shrink back down before we die. So we're going to sort out all those mechanics all right now. Let's have a look at our WWSS. What are we doing in this lesson? Well we are making our 4x bottle increase our player's size as well as sorting out out uh, how they shrink back down again. Why? Well, we want to give our player a bonus every so often. Skills you are going to need is you're going to have to be able to understand and apply how to work in GD script. Your success looks like you being able to jump up, bump one of those question mark blocks. It spawns a mushroom. That's in inverted commas, and that increases the player's size as well as how we decrease it. All right, so I think probably the best place to start is by just quickly jumping in and having a look at what it is. So we are up to date. So we created our start screen, which I already forgot about. Uh, not WASD, it's our left and right and our up to jump. So when we jump, we hit the question block. It then spawns the beer bottle, which we can collect, but nothing else happens. So that's what we're going to fix now. So actually just make sure that everything else works. Coins are still working, etc. Yeah, cool. All right, so let's quit out of there. Let's get our player script on the screen and that's where we're going to start. So I want to add in a new variable right up the top and we're going to call it var is big and that is going to be equal to false when we start out. So you can see our, uh, our called pattern here is dying false, is jumping false, is big false. Yeah, we're pretty creative over here at AG's Learning Lab. All right, so we've got that one sorted out. We've already sorted out some other things here. Function ready, add to group player, that's fine. Physics process, that's fine. Not on floor, that's fine. Jumping is fine. That is all good. Update animation doesn't bother me. All right, hitbox body entered. We're gonna to need to do something there in a moment, but maybe first we're gonna add a couple of functions. So the two functions I wanna add in here are um, for making our player big and then making them small again. So I'm just going to copy this in because I can't be bothered typing them. All right, so function become big. So we set our is big variable to true and then we scale our character up by um, to 1.5. So it's making it big. We're just cheating here rather than having a whole different set of sprites or whatever. We're just going to make it bigger like that. And our function becomes small. We flip that around and we flip that around. So that should make pretty good sense. But now we need to actually use these bits of code in places. So our becomes small, we're going to use it right Right in our player script here and we're going to use that up here where we've got our dying function actually no we're going to put this in our hitbox entered function come to think of it where is that maybe above there it is all right so function on hitbox body entered um, we want to go well is the body that's entering our player's hitbox in the group enemy and is it alive because if it is our player is going to die not anymore all right now we're going to check and say actually um, rather than just immediately killing our player off let's uh, give them a chance at a, uh, a at a possible you know future so let's go also here we're going to say if is big equals true Okay, so this should make sense. We're trying to find out whether or not, um, actually we don't need to say is true. Who am I kidding? If is big is all we actually need to do there. So if is big, um, then what do we want to do? We want to go down here and we want to say um, become small. That's that new one that we just made. Um, else, oops, else die. I think that should make sense to everyone, okay? So we've just edited our on hitbox body entered function in our player script to also check and see if our player's is big variable, which we just made, is true. If it is, we become small. Otherwise, we die. So it's just that extra layer of protection. So if we scroll down and just double check here, become big, become small, all right? So now how do we do the become big button? Be become big part. We've done the become small. Well, our become big is going to be done in our beer bottle. So let's go and find our beer gd there it is there so this is our beer script as it stands at the moment so what we want that to look like is only slightly differently only slightly differently only slightly different so down in our on area 2d body entered body all right so if the body is in group player q3 no we're going to add in one new step we're going to say body dot oops dot become big like that and then we can Q3. I think the Q3 needs to come over to there. Else, uh, yeah, that one should be right. So it looks like we might've lost our signal here. So I'm just gonna check on that. So um, 
sometimes, you know, we've got to have our little signals here to show that it's patched through. Sometimes we lose them and then things don't work properly. So what I want to do is find my beer scene. I want to find the area 2D. At the moment it says that it's connected, but because I can't see it here, I'm just going to disconnect it and then just um, reconnect it again anyway, just to make sure that um, reconnects here. There it is. Okay, so now I'm hoping if we run this, we actually get everything happening that we want to happen because I don't think there's much more we need to do. So let's start it. Let's uh, jump up. Let's get our beer bottle. Makes us bigger. Excellent. We can still collect coins. Can I still kill a toad? Oh, I can still fall in a bloody hole. Well done. All right, let me try that again. Beer bottle, get myself bigger. Kill a toad, can I still, or if I die, does it make me smaller? Hang on, I'm just trying to get on there without, oh. I must have missed myself coming, becoming small. Let's try this again. Uh, beer, big, small, die. All right, it does work. Uh, okay, that is all of those steps, right? So we've added in our question block, we've added in our beer bottle, we've added in the functions we need to make our player bigger and smaller, as well as get that extra buff um, when we're big. Awesome work. That's it. We are done. Uh, let's have a look at the must may might so you don't forget any of the steps. And then that is where we'll leave it. Uh, there are still many more to come in this tutorial series and all of the others. I just uh, release a whole bunch to start with and then we get a bit slower after that. So there will be more coming for this platformer one just like there are for Zelda and there will be for Wolfenstein. What you must get done to keep up is update those player and beer scripts with the new variables and changes. What you may like to do is start thinking about our next one which is going to be the fire flowers or uh, slightly differently as you can probably imagine with our bogan game and what you might like to do is continue building additional levels for your game making sure that each level is a little bit harder than the one before and introducing new enemies and things like that you should now be able to bump a question mark block and it will spawn a beer bottle that you can collect which will increase your size and give you a bonus hit next time we are working on those fire flowers or whatever bogan equivalent i come up with between now and then quote i would like to leave you with this week is by bertrand russell and he once said the whole problem with the world is that fools and fanatics are always so certain of themselves and wiser people so full of doubts, which I believe later on has been referred to as the Dunning-Kruger effect or the Trump effect. Anyway, that is it for another one. I hope to see you again soon.